bringing the people behind our food to life. Mm -hmm. What are we going to make today? You know what we're making? Strawberry shortcake. Yeah. Eat it now. So first we're going to measure the flour. Flour is an ingredient in strawberry shortcake. And I need two cups of flour. Taylor, will you measure me one cup? This is a one cup measure. Stick that cup in the flour until it's all the way full, all the way. Yep, even some more. There you go, now stop there. Now we're gonna level it off with a knife. Take the knife and push the flour, I'm gonna do that for you, here we go. Lean it in, there we go. There's one cup, go ahead and put that in here for me. All right, Bella, you measure me a cup. So we need two cups of flour. Get it all the way full and then we're going to level it off. We don't want to pack it in or that messes up our measurement. We just want to level it off. That's it. Right like that. And level. And now put the flour in there. Great. Now Next we have to measure our sugar. We need a quarter of a cup of sugar plus a tablespoon. Bella, you measure me out a quarter cup and put it in this bowl for me. Okay. Even. Is it even? Nope. We need a little bit more until it is all the way to the top. And this all right, now we need baking powder, Taylor. I'd like you to measure the baking powder for me. Baking powder is what helps the biscuits rise. And we need one tablespoon. So again, even, dip the tablespoon in there. Great, now I'm gonna even it out for you. Boom, put that in there. And now we need a quarter teaspoon. Okay, see if you can find the quarter there. Up, oh. yes, quarter, go ahead and dip that in. Let's even it out. Okay, put that with the rest of the baking powder. Okay, so we have most of our ingredients measured. I already measured out our butter, which is six tablespoons. Now we need egg yolk as part of this, uh, the biscuit, so I need some, you to mash that for me. Bella, will you mash it? Yes, so sometimes there are uncooked eggs that go in a dish. In this case, we're using cooked egg yolks. And that's gonna help keep it moist and make the shortcakes taste nice and rich. Great, now, I need three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Show me where three quarters is, Bella. Can you see that? That's two thirds, there's three quarters. Put this flat on the table and pour enough heavy cream till it gets to that three quarter mark. You might wanna bend down, make sure it's right. Don't go up, oh, perfect, perfect. So we're gonna sift the dry ingredients through this sieve. So Taylor, will you put the flour here? Cause that's one of the dry ingredients. Great, you can set the bowl over there to your right. And Bella, will you add the sugar? That's another dry ingredient, great. And now the baking powder, Taylor, another dry ingredient. Okay, now go ahead Bella, shake that for me and then give Taylor a turn, shake it into the bowl. And that way we get rid of all the lumps and that way our our short cakes will be nice and tender without big lumps of flour. Give Taylor a turn. There we go. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to add the butter. And Bella, with your fingers, I want you to mix the butter into the flour so that we have like little peas. It's like little pieces of peas mixed in the flour. And we want to have little lumps of butter. That's not going to be a bad thing because as the butter melts, it's going to make our shortbread flaky. Here, Bella, let's give Tay a turn. And use your fingers, and you might as well keep your hands with flour, Bella, because we're going to do some more by hand in just a minute. Okay, so now mix that up so that the flour, you want pieces of the butter in the flour. Yep, okay, and we don't want it too homogeneous. We don't want it too mixed up. We want pieces of butter there. All right, you're looking good. Now, we're going to add the egg yolk and the heavy cream. And this, I think we're gonna go ahead and stir this in. Bella, will you stir this in for me? Yeah. And we don't wanna stir it too much because we want, we don't wanna develop the glutens. Glutens are proteins in flour. We don't wanna develop it like pasta. We want it to be nice and tender, so we're just barely mixing it. Tay, give me a mix here. Go ahead, give me a nice mix there. And we're not looking for perfectly mixed. I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna put it all together on the table. Nice. All right, can I get a turn? <laughs> can Mama Lee get a turn? All right. 
Now, I know a lot of people think that dough should be all perfect and smooth, but with biscuits, that's not the case. You kind of, it is kind of messy like this and flaky, and we don't really want it to be all mixed up together. We're going to push it together here on the table, and we're going to shape it into... Excuse me? We made our own dough. We made our own dough. You made your own biscuit dough. And now we're going to get it as tall as we want the biscuits to be. Okay. Let's not work it too much. As I said, we do want to... be a certain size. That's right. A certain height, about an inch high, because they're not going to puff up too much. Tay, go ahead. You give me a cut right here, as close to the edge as you can. You know what I... I think. There we go. All right, that one's great. Let me um, dip, hang on, before you cut, I'm gonna dip it in my flour. Go ahead now and close to the edge, go ahead. Looks great. I think that'll help it not stick. Yep, right in there. Use your fingers to push it through. Great, you did it. Okay. Taylor, would you like to cut the next one? Okay. Go ahead, Taylor, right there. All right, cut all the way down. Now we'll pick that up. Hang on, let me just lift it up like that. There we go. All right. Bella, here, let's put this together for you to cut that last one. Okay. Yay! All right. So now what we're going to do, and don't worry, that's going to come together. It's okay if it's stuff like that, a little crummy. When the butter melts, That'll bring the whole biscuit together. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go put these in the oven, then we'll wash our hands and we'll get our strawberries and our whipped cream ready for the next step. So now we're gonna cut the strawberries and whip the cream to put inside the strawberry shortcakes. You always wanna cut off, this is called the, well, this is the leaves, but this is the hull of the strawberry. So we have to take all the holes off, and I cut it off, but some people like to use their fingertips to take it off. Have you ever gone like yeah. this and yeah. done that? Yeah, usually I cut it off because, see, I don't like to eat this part. Me neither. Well, that's, do you that want to try to take the hull out? You see if you can take the hull out. But you have to kind of use your fingernail to get in there to get that stemmy part that's still stuck in the strawberry. Or you can you cut it out. Also. Do you need to eat that one? Yeah. You eat that yeah. one. How could, how could you not cook without tasting what you're making, right? So if you need to eat a strawberry, that's okay with me. Yeah. So to cut a strawberry, I think it's easiest to put it down on its flat side and then cut it like yeah. that. That's what I do. All right, go ahead. You cut half the strawberries and then we're gonna give Taylor a turn. And you can put your cut strawberries in here. All right. To eat. All right, Bella, now you're let's always, give Taylor time. You're always having your fingers in what <laughs> you're about to eat. <laughs> I do that a lot, don't I? Yeah. So we're going to finish these last five strawberries. We're going to put a little sugar on them because they're not as sweet as I'd like them to be. And the sugar also helps kind of make a little bit of syrup that will seep into the shortcakes because the shortcakes are a little dry, oh, right? You have yeah. to, so the syrupy, sugary strawberry liquid will seep into the shortcake and give it a lot of flavor. And while yeah. you're doing that, I've already I'm measured done. this out. We're going to put done. one cup of cream here, and we're going to put one cup of cream. Go ahead, put it in there. Those and I'm going to put a drop of vanilla in each, and i got to get a little bit of sugar, and we're going to put that in there as well. And we're going to race against the KitchenAid, the mixer, and see what? who That's goes faster. What? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Hard. All right, let's turn the machine on sometime, and we're going to go fast. All right, go ahead, take over. you got to go fast. Go faster. Yeah, yeah, you could do it. Keep it going. Try to keep the cream in the bowl. Bella, you want to turn? No. Go ahead, Bella. Fast, fast. It's going super fast. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Oh no, oh Our no. Man. Who's gonna win? Go, 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 quick! Yeah, go, go, go. All right, give Mommy a chance. Go, 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 I say keep going. You're right, it is. Go ahead and turn it off. You made it. Pretty close though, right? Just 
took a little more elbow grease to make this. Not bad. I think you need to taste it. Can you taste it? Make sure it's good. Mmm, that's really good. Don't put it back in there. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah. All right. Make it nice. Now, you know what happens when you whip cream too much? What happens to the cream? Butter. Butter. That's right. We didn't make butter, did we? No. We made nice whipped cream. I didn't cream. get me butter. Me. Did we sugar those strawberries yet, though? No. I don't think we did. Well, try one. Try Let's one. do that. Try one. And sprinkle a little sugar. Ooh, yum. And we'll toss. All right, so how do you make and plate a strawberry shortcake? I need to cut it in half. That's right. right. Cut that in half. And I'm going to cut it in half for you because this is a really big and sharp then, knife and I want you to keep your fingers a little while then longer. You put some, then you put some strawberries on it. That's then right. Then you put some whipped cream, you put the top on, you put, but then you put like a few more strawberries and then whip some whipped cream. That is exactly right. So go ahead, Taylor, and with some of that liquid, give me some of the liquid with the strawberries on there. Yep, try to get the as many strawberries as you can with as much liquid as you can on that bottom level. All right, now before we put the top on, what do we need? Some whipped cream. Okay. That's right. Hang on. All right, hang on one sec. Let me get another little dollop there. That's what I was thinking. And then Bella, you're gonna do the top. Let Bella do the top part. Okay, so now on the top, Give me a few more strawberries. That way the strawberries will give a flavor to the shortcake again. Like so a few more strawberries on top. Doesn't it look like a sandwich? It looks like a turkey sandwich because like there's there's like the lettuce. Where's the lettuce? Right there. <laughs> the lettuce okay. always is so big it sticks out. Where it looks like mayonnaise. Oh, cool. that's right. When you yeah. make a sandwich, that's right. The lettuce does often stick out. That's right. Now it's a sandwich with ice. Now a nice big dollop of whipped cream on top. Try to do it gently so nothing falls off. There you go. Oops. Now for me, I really love powdered sugar. So will you give me a few sprinkles and then pass yep. it to your sister? Yep. Sure. Yeah. Bella, will you give me a sprinkle? Nice. Ooh, that looks What do you good. think? Mm, yeah. Huh? yeah, that looks Look what you good. made. Who should we give it to? <laughs> what we're planting is exactly what's going to be um, harvested. So this for a student to come from having no concept of how their food is grown to being able to take things home, so it's it's a big a big learning curve. But they seem to make it every summer. They go from knowing nothing to being completely immersed in it. It's awesome.